Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to please your man. And I'm not talking about uh, in bed, by the way. This is about um, emotional connection and, and keeping him in love with you and keeping him uh, interested in you so that uh, he wants to stay in a committed relationship with you. Uh, but before we talk about that, uh, if you're struggling to attract a man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. So today's question comes from a woman in our community, and she's asking, how do I please my man? And so um, I've really got three things here that you need to do uh, that are really important in regards to pleasing your man. And, and the first one is uh, communicate that you're sexually attracted to him. Believe it or not, men feel validated through uh, feeling sexually attractive to a woman. And so um, if you want him to get that validation from you, make sure that you are uh, telling him how attractive he is and telling him that he is attractive and that you think he's hot and that you think he's um, that that you want to have sex with him and that um, you know he's he's he turns you on in that way because if you don't he he'll feel uh, he'll um, he'll feel like he needs to get that from somewhere and so you want to you want him to be able to get that from you uh, the second one is giving a man space when he needs it. A lot of women end up, they like uh, give themselves totally to a relationship. And, and I know that seems like a really good idea uh, for a lot of reasons, but um, it, it ends up making women smother guys. And so if you're smothering your guy, he's going to lose attraction for you and he's going to pull away from you. And, and if you keep kind of... Uh, smothering him like that he's just going to keep backing away and away and away and if if you end up giving him space and you give him more space than he needs then he'll feel more like he wants to move towards you instead of moving away from you and so a great way to do this is to have a, a life and passions outside of the relationship that you keep and maintain have friends outside the relationship that you keep and maintain no matter what's going on in the relationship no matter um how close you guys get because uh it, it'll keep him attracted to you and it, it'll please him uh, in, a, in a lot of ways uh, and third learn what he wants and give it to him a lot of times uh, one of the things that i learned early on in, in my relationships is is that we tend to try to please people in the way that we like to be pleased but in reality, they have their own preferences. They have their own tendencies. They want to be pleased in a way that makes sense for them. There's actually a really good book on this called The Five Love Languages, where um, he talks about uh, how um, we tend to speak in our love language, but if somebody else has a different love language and we're speaking in ours, they don't experience love from us. And so figure out what he wants figure out what his preferences are um and end up you know and and try to give him those those preferences instead of trying to please him in ways that you think that he would want to be pleased find out what he wants so that's it for this question if you want to learn more about how to attract a man into a committed, lasting relationship and what's stopping you from attracting a man into that kind of a relationship, go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.